Everybody, listen to me. Tony Bolin here with Digital Thinker, and today I want to talk to you some, about something very exciting, N4 Rapid Request. Now, you all know N4 has taken great strides in developing mobile applications for N4 EAM, as well as their other N4 products. But now, I want to tell you about Rapid Request, because it really blows my mind. It's pretty awesome. You're going to like it, too. Well, just like with N4 EAM, mobile transit or manufacturing or any of those, you go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, you download the app for free. Now once your user gets the app on his mobile device, whether it's his phone or his iPad or Android, he has to have certain information to be able to access your EAM environment. He's got to know what organization he's in. He's got to know his connection ID, which is the same as his tenant, and he has to know his server address. Communicating that to your people may not be real easy. Getting your people to type that into their phone may not be real easy. Introduce QR codes. So when your user opens his application, say he's downloaded the N4 rapid request application and he's ready to use it, the very first screen he comes across is scan QR code. Now he could click manually configure and type all that stuff in there if he wanted to, but it's so much easier to hit scan and then you hold your camera up and you scan the QR code. Automatically, all of that information that's needed to access the application is loaded. N4 Rapid Request is ready to go. And it looks like this. You have a picture with a green circle and a plus button on it to enter a request. Well, let me tell you what's cool about this. This user does not have to have a user license of any kind. It could be anybody. It can be Joe Blow off the street. You could give him the QR code. He could download the application, scan your server credentials, and put in a work request. Now, that's awesome. But once he gets ready to put in a request, he simply hits that button. The device wants to know, who are you? So he can't just anonymously put in a request. He's required to put in who he is. So I'm going to type in my first name. I'm going to type in my last name. And there's one other field that is required that if you don't put anything in it, it will bark at you. It wants to know your email address. So if, when a human needs to contact you, they know how to find you. So once you put in your email address, there's a, a button on the bottom of your screen to say, remember me. If you slide that button to where it's green, then it remembers you every time you use this uh, application. Once you hit done, it returns to that screen that shows you the big green circle with the app on it. So when you get ready to create a rapid request, you hit that button and the first thing it's asking you to do is to take a picture. You hit the little button to take a picture. It asks you if it wants you to use the camera or pull a picture out of your picture library. If you turn on camera, push your little button, it gives you a, a snapshot of the picture you just took. Now the next thing, it wants a description from the user of what the user's problem is, of what he wants maintenance or whoever to address. Well, this is real, where it gets really cool. He can type on his tiny little keyboard, like most people do, especially young kids, they can type with their thumbs really fast. But if somebody old, somebody's got big fingers and typing is not really the way to go, he can push the microphone, and that's if he's enabled dictation, and he can speak what his problem is. The door is jammed and will not open. Once he enters that, he can hit done, and his work request is flying through the airwaves into the N4 EAM application. Now there is no limit to how many users use rapid requests. The N4 user sees it in the call center and it's very simple. The application picks up their physical location when they enter the request and then boom, they have created a call center request in your EAM application. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, if you need any help, do not hesitate to reach out to us. You can find us on our website, digitalthinker.com. We have other videos that you might like. And if you would, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom of your screen. Thank you very much.